Hello everyone, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. Now, if you watched the last video, you'll know we actually cleared Elise's tournament. That is why the setting is a little bit different than it was a second ago or at the end of the last video. We also have a little bit more gold. Again, go check that video if you want to see uh, how we did that or how we got here, let's say. Uh, but other than that, nothing has changed. So I have uh, done some verification. We actually find the pentacle jaws here. I forgot that I did not collect those last time. Um, but I have done some verification and we'll go over the quest log one more time. Just so that everyone is like completely sure that we've done everything. So obviously we have the quests all the way up to all the way up to quest 60. Uh, that was well, it's quest 60, and then we continue, and then I believe at quest 80 we stop. Yep, quest 80. So quest 80 is the is where the cutoff point is for Atratana. Now if we look at quest 80, we have quest 81 and 82 right here. These two quests are the Roseanne quests, aka they are unfinishable in Laxius Force 1, so we don't have to worry about those. 83 is Gareth, 84, I believe, 84, 84, where is 84, 84. Oh, right, 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 oh, I'm being dumb. 84 is the quest to raise Nuna. Now, the quest disappears from your quest log when you fail it. Uh, it doesn't give you a quest complete, though. It doesn't do anything. It kind of just disappears, so it's forever a stain on your quest book. But it is really impossible to do anything different there, so whatever. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94. 94 is cleaning the ponds. So that one is impossible for now. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, 99 would be... Uh, 99 would be right here, uh, finding the necklace, so that is quest 99. Uh, and then if we continue, 99, 101, 2. Uh, 103 is finding the Katakari Blade, returning the orb, it's 106, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, um, 112 is, um, killing 10,000 monsters, no, 112 is escorting Dieter, quest later on. Uh, 112 is clearing 10,000 monsters, which is the quest that we uh, don't have yet because I didn't pick it up, but I can. It's whenever. It doesn't have a limit. 114, 115, 116. 116 um, is not in Laxius Force 1, actually, I'm pretty sure. It might be the Lost Bundle, but that one is... No, no, it can't be. Yeah, so I don't know what it is, but uh, you can't get it in Laxius Force 1. 117, I believe, is the same deal. You don't think you can, or at least I can't right now. We found RJ's work, 19, 21. Uh, I don't think quest 120 is in the game either. Not 100% sure there, but uh, in any case, I don't have to quest, so there's that. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. In any case, I don't have it. 20, wait, actually, might be that it's in here. Yep, find the lost bundle, and 117 would be... Right, right, right. Look in and destroy the Thieves Guild. Right, so these are the quests. They're there. Right. That was me being dumb. Um, 20. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. It's another quest that isn't in the game. Um, between 125 and 128, we actually have a couple more quests uh, sitting there. So that's one. that should be 126, but obviously we, we clearly don't have that. Um, quest 126. Uh, yeah, I don't know. So, yeah, that is basically everything that there, there is. Uh, I can confirm. Anyways, so now we're going to interact with this thing here, and that is actually going to be the beginning of the end. Yep. So, interacting with this thing causes uh, a lot of stuff. It mainly causes a m m m gigantic cutscene that I actually really don't want to watch. Um... So there's another cutscene. Uh, the reason that that actually happens is because the game wants you to um, change the gear on these people. Um, now, as a whole, I'm daring to say that you can just kind of go with whatever you want. There isn't too much relevance. Um, you can equip all these characters with whatever. It really doesn't matter too much. Um... The only one that I would equip seriously is Aspar, because he's the only one that's actually going to do anything, any real work here. Uh, and, and as you'll see, as soon as you leave, you actually get attacked right away. So... Call it a plot hole, call it an annoyance of mine, but I've never understood why Sandy doesn't just turn the hell back now. 
like it's obvious they were ambushing you. Suddenly there's like 10,000 more unit more enemies than there were a second ago. Surely it occurs to them like hey, maybe this isn't normal. Maybe we shouldn't be doing like maybe we should go tell random that this isn't okay. But okay. It's cope. I know. It's cope. The anger helps me cope with what's about to unfold. In case you didn't know, Sandy's Zero Buster is really good against bats. <laughs> well, I mean, it's an AoE spell like any other. It just helps against this one in particular because there's so many bats. Now, um, this section does have like one oddity to it uh, at the end. Other than that, it's a pretty normal section where you just wait through enemies make your way down uh, without too much specials to it. Um, at the end of this, there is like one small moment where um, there is a detail, so to speak. Uh, said detail, well, for those who know the game, you, you already know the detail. For those that don't, why are you watching this? Um, but said detail is not particularly hard to get to. It's kind of pisses me off though like the detail itself kind of pisses me off uh, so I generally don't even go for it anymore but I guess for the sake of like showing it off I guess we might as well so you'll notice these enemies are kind of pissed off about the fact that we entered the, sh the temple like that's the vibe that they give they complain about the fact that we entered the temple Asgbar actually dies here, um, which is moderately annoying. Luckily, Brucian is still pulling his weight. And over here, you'll see Textux. So Textux... Oh yeah, right, Herbert is in the party. I always forget about Herbert. Um, anyways, yeah, we get the joy of finding Textux again. Uh, he's not especially stronger than he was before, so... There we go, Textux is dead. Uh, this one might actually be a bit tough, because if they use the AoEs, you're dead. Okay. Well, that's on me. Also, mind you, the uh, Anaconda fight actually doesn't spawn anymore. I wonder if that's because you actually killed the mother there, and now there's no more... No more Anacondas to spawn. Or whether it's just because Indy decided, you know what, I've had enough. Like, you've killed that thing often enough. Because technically speaking, you can farm that one for a lot of gold if you just farm the Anaconda skins they can drop. Wouldn't recommend it per se. If you're desperate for gold, like, you're better off farming... Um... Well, if you were desperate for gold, you're better off farming the bunny, the bunny races back in Mazul. That is one way to farm a lot of gold very quickly, uh, which I consider a little bit cheaty. Um, other than that, is there is there other ways, really good ways to farm gold? Uh... If you really want to farm a lot of gold really quickly, there's actually two more ways. The first one is when you are in... Um, at the end, there will be an area where you can farm some type of dragon. Which gives a lot of good gold. Um, and otherwise, going to the eastern lands. And in the eastern lands... Um, yeah. In the eastern lands, going for um, a lot of random encounters and then spamming your AoE skills is also a good way to um, to gain some gold really quickly. Uh, beyond that, I can't really think of any ways to quickly amass gold. Don't think there's a special... Okay. Okay, so by the way, these are the other three members of the uh, Messengers of Death. It actually took me a solid while to realize that that's who's attacking me here, because they don't actually say it. Like, they were made out to be this big deal, and they were just chump, literal chumps, but okay. 
they are the last, they're the other three messengers of death, apparently. So now that we've killed them, the messengers of death are no more, and we can actually continue. He's gonna let us rest in the cave, in the cave, although he does ask a hundred gold for it. Scam. Um. All right. Anyone watching this goes, oh no. All right, there we go. So everyone except Bruchen and um, Asbar goes to sleep here. That's why you don't want to use Herbert uh, at all. Well, I mean, Herbert also just sucks, so whatever. But uh, yeah, that's why you don't want to use Herbert at all. Uh, and then Asbar and Bruchen can either clear this or they don't clear. It doesn't really matter, I think. Like, either you die here or you clear the fights. Um, sad to say, the event is kind of... Yeah. So, if you lose, you lose. If you win, they throw a, a bomb on you and you take 999 damage. And, fun fact, even if you were to hack yourself to 999 HP, that's... Well, it still wouldn't be enough, so... So, yeah. Sandy gets captured and Sandy gets... Um, Pretty much tortured. And since there's no way to get Luciana to come with Random and Sarah towards the temple, there's actually no way to save Sandy in the first instance. So they're gonna think of a plan uh, how they can actually save Sandy. So, you'll notice Sandy is out of the party. We only have 10 party members left. Uh, at this point, um... At this point, I'm actually not sure if there's anything that you can be do that, sh that you should be doing uh, that doesn't involve just... Also, mind you, I think this is the only time that, Lu that um, Louis is in the party without him forcing himself into the front slots. Um, I guess that that's worth what it's worth for you. Um, I guess I'll take Joshua and Herbert because they are the lowest levels. Um, although I do wonder whether there's actually anything else that you can do now that you've cleared that part. I've kind of been assuming not. I don't think I've ever really gone exploring at this point in the game game doesn't really like give off the air of wanting you to do that either so there is that um so i'm kind of thinking i'm trying to think There's something that we have to do here. There's exactly one thing that we have to do. And I, yeah, okay, I remember, I remember. Um, the one thing we have to do is a little bit counterintuitive. It's a little bit counterintuitive. Uh, we killed the bunny, so we don't have to do that anymore. That's good. Um, yeah, like I said, it's a little bit counterintuitive, but we have to um, take a little trip. How much gold do we have? 80,000. Okay, that's fine. Um... Yeah, the anaconda doesn't spawn. You have to ignore Arvindale for a little, for like a second. Um, because we have to go ahead and head up. To Beretta's shop. Now you might argue this isn't the moment to do that. Also, we have the luck ring equipped, very important. So here's the thing, uh, if you have the luck ring equipped, this is a, not a great item, but it's not terrible either. Uh, if you have the luck ring equipped, she will give you uh, this. Beretta's evil box, which has a random effect. Um, don't ask me what or who or why, it's just, it just does that. Okay, so yeah.
And so here Taxtix is going to threaten that he has my mental powers to warn the people that you're attacking. Um, her Joshua is going to comment on the fact that he doesn't think that Taxtix actually has that ability. And so as a result, we're just going to attack Taxtix. Taxtix. I really don't want to do this. I really don't, but here we go. So yeah, Sandy dying does get me emotional every single time. I'm not crying. Um, and every time you think that that's, that that scene is pretty bad, uh, a second later this happens, and there goes like there goes two more people because Turvin. The guy with the massive gun that I pointed out back in the Institute just killed two more people. So, as much as it's generally uh, maybe not like the best written scene ever, it is really sad to see this happening. Marion also passes away here, uh, she's also dead. Lewis is, by the way, also dead. Nobody talks about it, but like, Lewis is also dead. Now, Iveen here is going to try and convince Random to not give up on being a hero, and she's asking him if he wants to do a trial to prove that he's a hero. Now, at this point in the game, uh, you can do a variety of stuff. You can go anywhere you like, um, but there's not much point to anything. I don't think there's any real new quests or anything, so you don't have to bother with that too much. Um, the only thing that you really have to do, the only real new quest there is, is if you head into the inn at this point and you head up north, you will find um, over there, over here. I just realized that if I enter a fight, I would die. Um, so unlike the newer games, even if you're like almost dead or even if you have zero HP, it won't actually um, kill you until you end, enter an actual battle. Uh, let's equip the cigar here. Let's. I just kind of want to see how hard we can push the prize money. Okay, so, 1,200 is clearly too high. He will never pay that. Uh, let's see if we can go to 1,000. No? Okay. Uh, I think 800 gold would be good. Like, it's obviously not a lot. Uh, so, let's take that. Let's go 800. Wow. Okay, this guy really doesn't want to pay, huh? Okay, so obviously he'll accept 200. We, we knew that. That was the base price. 
Wow, so even 500 is too much, Jesus. Wow, okay, he doesn't even accept 400. Okay, so I'm assuming that he's gonna like, even 300. Okay, wow, 300 is something he's willing to do. Oh, yay. Oh, whatever. Uh, anyways, this guy's just going to ask you to take him to the, uh, to the, to the thing, to the transport. Um, it's not much more than that. Um, ju just ignore her. She, she's not doing anything there. Okay, so you get the 300 gold for bringing him there, and that's actually the only quest that you have to do. Now, you can, at this point, um... <laughs> I think we can go ahead and go to... I'm gonna drop a save, because I'm not sure how much gold I need. I have 2,800 gold right now. But then, if we make our way to Beretta, that's going to be only 2,300. Also, make sure to equip the Luck Ring again. Always equip the Luck Ring when you come to Beretta. Uh, does she have new stock? I think she has new stock. So, she wants to sell you the Beretta's card of power. Um... I guess we'll have to haggle a little bit. We'll have to sell some stuff. Uh, the power diadem are completely useless at this point, though, so that's good. Um, okay, so as for selling some stuff, uh, it's kind of tough. I, I don't really know what you can sell and what you can't sell. Uh, a lot of this stuff is actually really, 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 really good. For example, the, the Gammon Rod, I don't care about that one. The Dinosaur Femur is okay. The Orgmore Axe is trash. The Orcish Ancient Axe is trash, because we just have better. The Butcher Axes are trash. It does inflict demolition, but we don't care about too much about that. Titan Javelin is okay. The Crease Jaws are completely pointless at this point. Uh, we have two Razor Blades. I'm keeping one of those. We have Wind Daggers. I'm keeping one of those as well. We have Silver Die Katanas, which I'm keeping one of. Um... Alright, so we can buy three of these. Uh, I think... Okay, yeah, technically you can buy one more of those, because if you... Um... Yeah. If you buy the card first, then buy the XPX, and then, um... then do that, she will actually offer you... Um... She will offer you the cards again once her sh shop has uh, refreshed. So... I suppose, in theory, that is one missing. You can get a fourth card if you do it in that order. So if you wanna, if you wanna get the fourth card, here you go. That that's how you do it. All right. So the thing is, we are 24 minutes in. I, uh, technically speaking, there's definitely time. So I'll make the decision to. Yeah, let's do that. So we're gonna go into the trial of heroes now. Uh, there's two things to this. First of all, um, she does demand that you bring a party of four in. Now, my suggested party for this is Herbert, Joshua, and uh, Coca Coca, because Random is going to solo this place anyways. Um, these guys are equipped on top of that. Uh, I don't think... E yep, yeah, okay. Um, the Explosive Acre in here, uh, it really doesn't matter too much. You can equip it, you can choose not to equip it. Uh, it's whatever. Also, he's inflicted with pox somehow. Right. So... Let's enter the Trial of Heroes here. Now, here's the thing. The Trial of Heroes is a pretty specific, simple place. Uh, it really... Make sure you have the Luck Ring equipped, by the way. Uh, this place isn't too special overall. Um, you kind of just have to make your way through. Uh, and if you see these little guys, I think one set of little guys here is going to give you... Or maybe like just one little guy. Uh, I'm not entirely sure which one it is exactly. This lets you into this, the city of Gladenmore. So that's cool. Um, now you'll might Okay, so it's this one. So, um... 
Now the thing is, we can ask for a blessing, which will give us five MP, four thousand five hundred XP, and a bas. Uh, no, yeah, that. No. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the ring is a blessed ring, or money will be 10,000 gold, I think. Uh, but if you have the luck ring equipped, it will be a better blessing, which we don't want. Uh, a better ring, the Basla Mammoth, or we will get 19,000 gold. The Basla Mammoth is a decent weapon, is a decent ring. So, I will be picking it up, since this is something tangible. And everything else, uh, gold is intangible, right? So that is kind of the thought process I'm making here. But just be aware that I am of the opinion that the Basla Mammoth is not worth it. Now, currently we are actually um, going towards the exit. No, are we? No, we're not. No, we're, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Uh, these Sky Minotaurs are incredibly weak. Just wipe them out with any skills, you know, with random AoE skills. Uh, he generally doesn't have much of an issue doing it. Uh, and then over here we'll find a Mind Crystal... Uh, it's, you know, it's an item like any other, I suppose. Anyways, so we've kind of cleared this side. Um, there's not much more to it over here. Uh, if we venture to the left, we'll be able to circle around. Um, there's a blue chest up there. Nothing there, nothing there. Uh, another Sky Minotaur that attacks us here. Uh, you just, like, go up here and you'll get an Enchanted Potion. Is the Enchanted Potion worth it? I mean, it's a, it's a free potion. Um, the loot here is definitely not, like, the ultra-super-insane kind. Um, you'll notice that we have 1,700 gold right now. Now, do note, we did not enter the town last time. Uh, we can enter the town, and we will in a second. We're just doing other stuff first. Um, but if you're just strolling along and you're only watching half the, half the, half the stuff... Uh, make sure you don't leave this place before you've entered the town. Now, this thing does take... You'll, you'll see it right away. 326 gold, because this thing is weak to Lichea, and it takes a lot of damage from everything else. Um, this is the place that I was mentioning when you fight specific a specific dragon. Yeah, it's this the sky dragon here. The heaven dragon or sky dragon, I don't know. Um, the sky dragons here actually drop an insanely good amount of gold. Um... Which immediately means that this is the ultimate place to farm. It's also the other reason why you pick the Basil of Mammoth over anything else. Um, sure, you can go for the quick gold. But if you really are that desperate for gold, they would pass up a unique item for it. Then I would just suggest... Um, okay, so I think you need Sarah. And Sarah will be able to get that chest over there. So just, uh, just wait until you have Sarah for that one. Uh, that's fine. Uh, we're going to quickly take them out. And then I believe... The Sky Minotaur and just is everything here. It's gonna give us one Thunder Powder. Yay. Obviously not the most relevant ever. Alright. Um, and now we have... Yeah. There's no Echo here because we're in space, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, like I said, this dragon is really easy to kill, and this is also kind of the deal. You can easily farm this dragon just by sitting on the corner here. Um, because demanding on your damage and how much damage you're, you're dealing, um, you'll be able to do this a lot of times. Now, uh, when the episode ends, I will do some quick farming here just to get some gold so that I am sure that we can do everything that we need to do. Uh, does that have to be on screen? I don't think I don't think anyone benefits from that kind of farming to be on screen, but you know. Um, on the other hand, doing it on screen does guarantee that nobody suspects that I'm a cheater. It's how you look at it, I suppose. Anyways, these little fights, you just clear them by using randoms. Uh, Elf Slaughterer. I use Elf Slaughterer because it's the easiest one. It costs the least mana. Now, what you can do is you can give random one of the Mist Glazes that will cut down on his uh, MP usage as well. Um... That will cut down on the MP usage as well, so that way you can actually save some money, uh, some MP, uh, on random. Now, fun fact, you don't actually have to clear the dragon uh, on with this party specifically. Uh, you can do it later on as well, but you can tell, like, that's going to give us the 400 gold every single time. Now, if you look over at the timestamps, you will be able to just skip ahead to where we're no longer facing the dragon. I'm including the footage. Well... One, because it saves me work. Two, because it's easier to prove that there's no cheating going on here. Um, 
Not that I think that particularly matters. But anyways, we are currently sitting on 5,000 gold. So like I said, uh, it's kind of a little bit like you can farm this infinitely. Obviously, it's very easy to farm. Uh, it really doesn't take any effort and random. It does help Joshua and uh, Herbert to reach a level. That is why I said please like to preferably take them with you uh, when you come here because this levels them up uh, as well as um, as well as getting you to gold. Um, now technically if you have Dragon Tomb, uh, the skill that I said that I wasn't going to learn yet, um, it becomes a lot easier to clear this place because at that point random can just one shot these dragons with a skill. Uh, but I don't think it's particularly relevant how quickly you clear this when you already clear it in like four turns cap. Um, and this is the second reason is you bring Koka Koka, right? Uh, he actually does decent damage to these things without any equipment whatsoever. So um, it's kind of sad that the drag. I wonder if the dragon standing on like the the staircase, if that one might potentially respawn as well. Uh, that would potentially be a lot easier, but it doesn't look like he responds. Anyway, so we are at 7,600 gold. Uh, that means that we can just um, go back now, and we will um, we will head back towards the city, and we will take a quick look in the city what we can find. There's a couple of things you can find, obviously, uh, in the city. There is a whole uh, a whole store here. Um, I think this is the one. So, the mercantile is important on one hand, on the other hand, uh, I don't think this is, is, is this the one? It's hard to tell sometimes. We're going to equip the pheasant hat, so that's going to give us additional, um... So, yeah, there's a lot of items here. They're not too expensive either, but I'm not, I'm not particularly interested. Um, other than that, we can actually venture down into the middle here and that will give us an armor armory like an, an armor an armor salesman now if you take a quick look you'll see okay what do these weapons actually give you the heaven's mace does inflict uh demolition so that's kind of nice the holy axe inflicts fragmentation and shatter uh pretty nice if you ask me heaven shield heaven ring all pretty decent items um now, if we leave and we come back, she will offer us a unique item, the Burial Saint Hat. Uh, is this thing worth it? No, not at all, I think. But, um, you know, I suppose it's somewhat worth it. Uh, I don't think there's anything else especially up to it. I think we've basically done everything. Um... So yeah, the question is now, how much gold do we want to farm? What do we want to do with the gold that we farm? Um, because after you decide to farm or not farm any gold, um, you are kind of stuck with the decision that you've made. So I'm going to say we probably want to just farm out the gold. Probably just want to farm out the gold. And then once we have the gold... Um, once we have the gold, we can just kind of continue on our merry way. So this dragon down here is obviously the one that you want to farm. It's the easiest one to farm. I think if we give um, Herbert something other than the Torrent Sword, that probably would work as well. Um, so yeah, we'll be back in a second. Just going to farm out this dragon as often as I like, and then we'll be back. So, quick little intermezzo. Uh, I kind of figured that I would boot the recording back up or edit this in. Uh, but two things that I did forget to mention is these dragons can actually drop dragon scales, uh, which does admittedly uh, sell for even more gold then. And secondarily, you can obviously give random the Legendra helmet back uh, and the Chaos Orb and potentially zombify him if you were to ever die. Um, and those things paired together will obviously allow random to deal a lot more damage to this dragon here, which in turn will mean that your farming goes a lot faster. Uh, beyond that, I would recommend farming this dragon until you can at least buy everything in the shop. Um, you saw the items, it's kind of like, obviously if you don't want to buy any of it, you don't have to buy any of it. And I'm a huge proponent of not farming, um, of not farming as much as possible. I hate farming, and I have made this entire guide so far with as little as, far as, little, as little farming as possible. Basically no farming, actually. 
Uh, I, I kind of stand by that. Uh, I don't like farming, especially in RPGs. Like it's e it's very easy to get overpowered if you if you farm a lot if you can buy anything. A large bottleneck of RPGs is exactly that you don't have access to every single item in the game. Uh, on the other hand, uh, especially in this place, Lexus Force 2 and Lexus Force 1 do require a lot of gold, and you do miss out if you don't have that gold. For example, I did t tell you about it, the Magdalena quest actually requires you to dump 10,000 gold into a, a pot. Like, literally throw it away. Uh, and it kind of just requires that. And secondarily, there is actually something that you can do after this whole ordeal um, that also requires an insane amount of gold. So in that sense, it is definitely worth it to farm out the gold that you can get from this dragon here. Uh, and farm out these dragon scales to hopefully get as much gold as possible. So we're currently sitting on about 16, 16k. Sadly, that is um, nowhere near what we need uh, from this dragon. Um, as the more dragon scales we get, obviously, the better, because these dragon scales... I'm actually not sure if these dragon scales can amount to anything later on in the games. Uh, whether or not maybe like you can craft a rare item if you bring them to a later craftsmanship. I craft Smith. Um, I didn't think so, or at least I've never encountered that. But technically speaking, it's possible that there is something that I don't know because Lexius Horse Three is very much not my uh, my fort. Uh, I definitely don't know everything there is to know about Lexius Force Three, so it's not necessarily like I don't necessarily know everything there. Um. So we're just going to continue farming here. Um, Kokokokai is going to handle it on his own for a sec. There you go. Um, so I'm gonna... Well, yeah, I'll probably edit the next part out so that you don't have to watch the entire thing. Alright. After a mind-numbing amount of farming, and I do really mean a mind-numbing amount, um, where Random actually died, so he has basically no XP, and the game crashed, so I had to do it a second time, it really has not been fun. Then I realized Random wasn't getting any XP because he was dead. And then I kind of realized that Random is now at level 49 again. But all in all, so I swapped the gear back. And then without the luck ring this time. No, I haven't even done that yet. So now I'm just wrapping up after yet another game crash. Um, quite annoying actually. I don't like farming, but I don't really like farming twice anymore. But... I think I've almost hit, okay, I've hit the target goal of 41,000 gold, so I suppose we can head back. <sighs> so yeah, this little trip back definitely is not exactly as glorious as I thought it would be. Uh, I was about at, like, 52,000 gold when the game crashed. Um, maybe I should save just so that it doesn't happen again, huh? How, how about that? Um, yeah, so, okay, whatever. So, on this save, I actually haven't been here yet, so she hasn't sold me the, the other thing yet. Uh, we're gonna put that on, and actually, actually we'll, let's put on the pheasant head as well. Alright. So, as you can see, the goal here was that we can buy one of each item. Which is exactly what I'm doing. And then, if we enter and leave a couple times, she will actually sell us the other weapon that we want. It is random when it happens, if it happens. Oh, there we go. The Burial Saint hat. Okay. So we've got nearly everything. Um, okay, so this is all the farming I'm willing to do. Uh, all the farming that I am willing to do uh, at this point. One, because I really don't feel like doing it again even more. Uh, I think I've farmed about for a solid hour or two at this speed, so go ahead and imagine. Um... Secondarily, I don't think it's necessary. We've got everything that we came here for. We've got the items, so that's basically... That's good enough for me. Um, we've got one of each item that I wanted to collect. So I'd say we're probably uh, ready to just wrap up, up. Just about wrap up, right? Um, so let's go. Uh, obviously, there is still one more Minotaur here. Actually... If you're about to tell me that this Minotaur always respawns alongside this... Oh yeah, no, right. That's what that's what this part is. There's a dragon there, and there's the... I think the second one does not respawn, and I think only this dragon respawns. Let's check that out for science. 
If the other one also respawns... No, okay. Good. Uh, now, of course, we aren't actually done yet. Sorry if I sound like uh, my energy has been drained, but I will admit, clearing this place twice entirely, then having the game crash, blah blah blah, having to make sure that that's not all on video, because that would be pretty pointless, um, it is quite the ordeal. Luckily, I mean, like, at least, at the very least, software these days is pretty easy to work with. Um, used to be that you had to do a lot of effort if you wanted to get, like, basic basic edits like that in where you just do a quick cut because something crashed um i am kind of happy that that's no longer the case um i think if i remember right there's an acolyte helmet right there yeah i know i knew there was something in there uh i think this leads to the exits so that's not where we want to be just yet we want to go ahead and do the upper path first um For the Iveen tier that's hidden behind it. Now, I don't think that Spirit can do anything for us. I think that's just a visual thing. Um, and I don't think anyone has ever said that otherwise to me. So, I'm going to assume that that is the case. Anyways, over here we'll see two dragons. Woo! Sadly, they are so close to the exit. They're so far away that farming them is absolutely not an option. Uh, you would need to, like, do a way too long run back in order to farm these dragons and then if you interact with this encounter over here that actually takes you out of the dungeon with random so um, there's definitely no way to get back and we do get another dragon skill now once that's done you'll actually be thrown in thrown in right away uh, with the other party uh, sadly it's oh yeah okay, here the holy axe he can equip it thank god because that is why we bought it like I will admit that Askbar is 99% of why I wanted that, so if that had not worked, I would have been very sad. Uh, anyways, now with this party, we can also then... Actually, I do wonder, can you trigger... Can you trigger this guy again with the other party? That would actually be great. No, that is a pity. I mean, I didn't think you would be able to, but, you know, a guy's allowed to think. Okay. So, for the rest of this dungeon, there really isn't much to say. By the way, those Minotaurs are incredibly weak to all the status effects that the bow... I'm not even going to pretend that I can pronounce what the bow is called, but... That bow uh, inflicts a lot of benef uh, downward... Oh, come on. Debuffs. Uh, and the Minotaurs are basically weak to every single one of them. Uh, now, here's the thing. I did say before, uh, Sarah can probably clear this. That was correct. Uh, if you have Sarah with you, she is able to get the chest up here. Um, however, she actually does need a specific stat for this. She needs a resistance of 770 in order to manage that. So let's see what we can do to potentially get that resistance all the way up. Uh, okay. This is going to be difficult because we no longer have Marion to buff us. Let's see what kind of... What do we have left? Steel skin heroism is, is not really going to help, is it? War powder? Maybe? 680. 680. So... Yeah. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Two things, two things. The Necro Hood. 727? Oh, okay, 720 was enough. I thought it was 770, but apparently 720 was enough. Okay, so we got the we got the last item, I believe. I don't think there's anything left here that we have not gotten on either or. So, um, Iveen Kiss, Iveen Tear, don't remember which of the two it was, don't care either. I wonder, like, if you heal, if you heal them, um, they probably deal enough damage. Uh, 
Okay, so if you were looking to farm um, dragon scales or gold, perhaps you might want to consider this one. Um, it does appear that Askbar and Sarah's party are actually quite adept at this. So I'll farm this a little bit just to get their levels up a little bit, and then I'll be back once that's done. Alright, I think that's enough farming for today. Uh, I don't think I did quite as much. I have 25,000 gold this time around. That's kind of where I wanted to be at. I feel 5,000 gold is a pretty good amount of gold to have, uh, especially since there's not re really all that much left to do uh, in this game anyways. 25,000 gold, it's definitely not the amount that you need if you want to like do everything. You'll definitely need more gold, but I figure that we'll probably find other ways to get that gold at some point. Uh, let's see, I think... No, okay. I thought maybe if you interacted with that again, you might get another Acolyte Helmet, but that's not the case. Also, there's only going to be one dragon this time, I reckon. There we go. Okay, so that's basically why we farmed. We really wanted to get the Sun Boomer attack. Um, the Sun Boomer attack with Sarah. Sun Boomer attack is just such a great attack. So we're going to go ahead, use this party for a little bit. Uh, we're just going to fight whatever this is. It actually looked scarier than it is, but whatever. Uh, Sun Boomer attack, and then we're just going to use Dragon Slaughter, and that is going to be it. All right. So, over here, you probably want to drop a save, and she is going to tell you... Fun fact, you can literally answer whatever you want. It doesn't matter. It won't change anything. It just... You can just answer whatever. Anyways, I'm going to drop another save here, and we're actually going to continue. And now we're going to enter Iveen's plea. So, in this place, Iveen is going to back random to come back to heroing, and she's going to tell Sarah that she has an additional trial for Sarah. Uh, random finds his spirit back. Random's back. Yay! He wasn't that long, gone that long, but you know. Anyways, uh, they're gonna tell Sarah, "Hey, Sarah, we have another trial for you. Do you want to do it?" Sarah says, "Yay!" As she does, apparently. Um, as she does, yes. Now there's a save crystal here. Uh, this lady over here actually helps you train if you need to for whatever reason. Um, makes some degree of sense because technically speaking, if you come here without any kind of prep. Um, you do actually run the issue that you might, um, just not have any way of, uh, clearing this if you haven't used Sarah a lot. So, there's that. Anyways, in the trial, there's actually a couple tedious things here. What is the best way to prevent poison? I, 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 I have no, I have no clue. Sarah does, however, have that thing equipped, so the poison's not gonna affect her. Anyways, you don't have to clear that one. This one is just a straight fight, so you don't have to do anything special for this one either. Uh, the trouble starts over here. This is another regular fight. I don't think there's a single way that I can lose these, but technically speaking, it is possible if you haven't leveled Sarah up whatsoever. Also, she might get paralyzed locked for quite a while. Um, that's something that you'll kind of just have to live with because I have no way of stopping it. There we go. Um, now, here we go. Le Sarah's level is 42. Um, the god naturally gifted with revival properties is Phoenix. Now, even if you get that right, she will still fight you. Do you know your level of experience at this moment? Yes, it's 42. So you want to get this one correct, because otherwise you are going to be thrown back to the start of this dungeon. Um, annoyingly so. And then over here, this one is meant to teach you that not everything that looks scary is scary. Not your hug. Oh, great. There we go again. In theory, if you get very unlucky, you can actually die to this, because there's no guarantee that you'll break out of paralysis. It is a set amount of chance per turn, and then you can still get paralyzed on the same turn again, so... Technically speaking, there's no guarantees. 
Uh, okay, so this next one is actually going to ask us what Random's level is. Now, I'm pretty sure after the crash, he's still level 39. 49, I mean. Yeah. Turns out that was right. Okay, so we're going to continue here, and as far as I'm aware, there's nothing else to this place. Um, let me check what k I got sent. Nope, nope, nope. All right, so we're gonna talk to the this and he's actually gonna kick us out He's gonna tell us that we can't do anything because blah 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 virus So Iveen at this point is going to be very alarmed. Iveen's gonna ask if she can join us blah 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 Iveen joins the party. Yay Iveen is not a mandatory member of this party actually. So goodbye Iveen uh, I don't want Iveen in my party. It's that simple. I want Bruchen and Askbar in my party Yes, I am not kidding I am not I'm not kidding I want, I want this party, not any other party. Okay, so uh, there's two things now. One, we now have access to the Brain of Gladenmore, which is the next part. Two, uh, we can actually un unlock this gate now. And all these little angels are actually going to be able to talk to you now, because all of them are, um, you know... Now, this crystal over here, I think, fully heals you. It's not a safe crystal, it's a healing crystal. Yay! Uh, now, there is actually a hidden item if you go this way, an Escalaboom. Uh, I actually don't know what Escalabooms do in this game. Escalaboom plus 16 HP. Right, okay. In Laxia's Soul, it fully heals you. From that item... Okay, so wait. From here, um, I think there's more. You just need to, like, wiggle wherever you can. I think this is it. Iveen's Diamond Pendant. So this is a very hard to find item. And if I remember correctly, I might be wrong on this. Uh, it was only recently added to the guide on Elder Leia. Um, admittedly, I haven't really read the guide yet. But I did check the section for this item. So that's why I'm thinking that I'm right. Uh, because I remember, I think, um, Kale saying that it was a recent addition because he hadn't found it before. So finding this pendant is definitely uh, something that I was looking forward to because I don't think I've found it myself before. Um, so big shout out to Kale, I think, for this item. Uh, it's kind of awkward that I don't remember if this was the specific item he told me about. But in any case, big shout out to Kale over on the forums for um, for including this into his guide. Uh, into his guide um, that will that has shown me an item that I had not found before. Anyways, these statues are supposed to be friendly to us, but uh, they're not, so we're just gonna kill them. Personally, don't see what the big deal is, because killing them kind of was... Well, I mean, kind of was just what I was going to do anyways. Now, interestingly enough, you also have these dragons here. Um, if you're wondering why the damage is so bad, it's because stone actually immobilizes enemies, but it also massively raises defense. So that's why um, Sarah is actively kind of hurting the party at this point. <laughs> and then we have a big, a big wave. Lol. Uh, with more of the same enemies, really. Um, and then here, over here, we have the Brain of Gladenmore. And I think there's nothing else we can actually do. So once you enter the Brain of Gladenmore, there is no coming back uh, for anything. So we're actually just going to drop ourselves our save here and i think this is where we're gonna leave it off for today thank you guys for watching tomorrow or well the next episode i say tomorrow but it's probably not gonna be shot tomorrow uh the next episode will contain the ending of laxius force one most likely maybe do some wrap up once we're back in edgertana at the end of it but we'll see anyways thank you guys for watching see you guys next time